Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I am doing a video, uh, a favorites video, kind of a May, a little bit into June favorites. I'm doing it here at uh, while we're on vacation. So if you hear kids running in the background or people talking, then you'll know it's my family. We we're having such a good time. Um, we are staying at Tabby Island, which is close to Savannah, Georgia. And uh, we went into Savannah briefly yesterday, but there were so many of us, we really couldn't. We had three cars, it was hard to park, so I think we're gonna go back. I'm just gonna take a few people today and we're gonna go through some of the historic houses. Um, and you know, Savannah is just kind of a, I always think of it, as, it's, it's very historic, it's very beautiful. It's set up in squares and each square is just absolutely stunning. Um, you know, you just drive through and go, go around and then go to the next square and go to the next square. And um, it's just very charming, very, uh, very beautiful. And it's just got lots of history and beautiful, beautiful historic homes that you can take tours through. So we're gonna do some of that today. We've gone to the beach a lot. We've been swimming, we've collected lots of shells. So uh, we've just had a really good time. I think the thing that I've liked the most is the way to see my grandchildren interact with each other. Uh, just spending so much time together and my two children. Uh, I have a boy, a son and a daughter. They are very different and sometimes they haven't always been as close but they've really gotten close on this trip and that has meant everything to me. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started on my empties. I tell you, it's just a couple of beauty things and let's see. A visit from someone and uh, uh, a couple of just a pair of shorts and let's see what else the rest of it i tell you is um, tv shows that we've been watching we uh read a lot of stuff on netflix or brit box or acorn and we really like british dramas uh, mystery type thing detective type stories and people have been asking me what our favorites were so i went through netflix and i've i've gone uh, some i've written down some favorites that Doug and I have both really enjoyed and I'll try to give you a brief synopsis of them. Okay, but first I'm going to, uh, well first I'll go ahead and talk about the shorts that I have on. I found out about these shorts. I bought three pair from Angie, hot and flashy. Uh, I saw it on Insta stories, but they're from Loft. They are a good price and they are so comfortable. What I like about them is that they are, uh, they're not too long, they're not too short, they're not too young, but they're not too old, if that makes sense. They, they're right there in the middle, they're appropriate, but still not frumpy looking. I don't feel frumpy in them. So I will, well, at the end of this video, I will try to remember to do a shot of it and insert it here. So the foundation that I've really been loving this month is from Lancome. It's the Stick Tip Foundation from Lancome. And uh, it has a little bit of sunscreen in it, 21. I've really, really enjoyed it so much. In fact, my holy grail has always been the one from Laura Mercier, the Silk Cream Foundation, the oil-free silk, 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 the oil-free silk cream foundation. So, um, I've been wearing this, and then the other day I put on the Laura Mercier, and it just didn't, it felt a little oilier, and it just did not quite measure up to this one, and that really surprised me because that was the one I always thought was the very best for my skin and the very best color match and everything, but this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so those are the, uh, the makeup items I've really been enjoying. Uh, another thing that uh, and I will insert pictures of it, has been Doug's yard, the outside yard that he's been doing. He's planted flowers, he mows it just to perfection, he mows it on a diagonal, he does it every few days so that it just stays pretty much, he doesn't get it too short, uh, but when it gets just a little bit longer, then he just mows it down, he just treats it like a head of hair or something like that. He loves that yard and just get so much enjoyment out of it and I'm the one that gets to benefit from it the most because I get to go out and look at it and it's just absolutely gorgeous and he a few years ago he put a fountain out there and he just maintains it and 
you know, just works so hard on that yard all the time. And I'm very, very grateful for that because it just adds so much to our house and he works so hard on it. And uh, I don't know, it just, it's nice. It really not, it's really nice to have a husband that enjoys doing that so much. Okay, let's see. Oh, another thing that I really enjoyed was connecting with Jennifer, the Daily Connoisseur. She had asked me if she could do sort of a type of uh, uh, a FaceTime interview uh, with me and put it on her channel. And I was just so honored and so thrilled. I have so much respect for Jennifer. Uh, she's a New York Times bestselling uh, author. She's had several books. She's written several books and published in all different languages, read by so many people. She's funny. She's beautiful. She's intelligent. Uh, she's a wonderful mother, and I have enjoyed her so much. So thank you so much, Jennifer, for letting me be on your channel and letting me spend that time with you. I feel like I've gotten to know you so much better, and it's just been such an honor for me. Huge highlight. Huge highlight for the month for me was a visit from another YouTuber, Mary Ellen over 60. Oh my goodness. Um, here's the thing. We were planning on, and Kristen, Kristen321 came up to join us too, but we were going to do a car chat with the three of us and have her pop up. But we were got to talking so much and just enjoyed each other so much that we forgot to film. So I think that that's a really good testament on how how well we all got along and how much we enjoyed her so much. Her, her videos don't do her justice on how beautiful she is. She's beautiful in her videos, but she's absolutely stunning uh, in person. She's, she's, uh, her skin is just so very beautiful. And just such a sweet woman with such an open, giving heart. She's a person that if I had a problem, I would go to her and say, I need to talk to you, Mary Ellen, about something. And she would be right there. She would even get in the car, drive down to see me if I needed her to. She drove down to see her husband's son, they drove down, who lives just a few miles from me. So she was able to, they were able to visit with them and I was able to spend time with Mary Ellen. <clears throat> and it was just such an honor. It really was. Mary Ellen, over 60, um, go visit her channel. She's a joy just an absolute joy and thank you Mary Ellen for being a part of my life. Another thing that I've just loved the heck out of are uh, brushes from Wayne Goss that I got from my friend Kristen, Kristen321. I talk about Kristen a lot. Uh, she got me some Wayne Goss, Goss brushes, I, eyeshadow brushes for my birthday. My goodness, I've talked about them before but there are no brushes I don't think that are like them. I think I think Magic Brush people put them together and sp sprinkled uh, stardust on them and made them magical because they just feel so wonderful. They blend out your eyeshadows beautifully and you know I could go on and on about those eyeshadow brushes but those were such a favorite for me and I'm so grateful Kristen to you for getting them for me. It was too much but just so appreciated. Okay, um, I don't ever talk about perfumes but I found one at uh, and it's going to be just a seasonal thing. It's just real lightweight and it doesn't last a real long time. But it's just, it's, it's under $20. It isn't very expensive. But I got it from uh, Bath and Body Works. And uh, it was an accident. I was standing in line behind someone at a store. And the cashier and I both looked at the woman and said, What are you wearing? You smell so good. And she told us about this scent, so I went out and got some. It is called At the Beach, and I did not bring it with me, so I will have to show you a picture of it. It just smells so good, and I'm usually not one to like summer scents or beach scents. I'm usually one that likes fall scents or a little bit heavier scents, but uh, it just it smells like the beach but better. 
Uh, it's so fresh and just leaves such a clean scent. And if you like that type of thing, if you like beach scents at all, you're absolutely gonna love this because I don't like beach scents, but I love this. So I have worn it over and over and over again all summer long. It's just very refreshing too. So I would highly recommend it. So that is all the beauty and clothing type items. So I'm gonna quickly mention, cause we, I, I wrote down quite a few of some TV shows that we've been enjoying. And like I said, you can find them either on Netflix or BritBox or Acorn or uh, Amazon Prime. So one of them is called, the first one is We Five, and it's about a group of people, they're adults, but as kids, one of the, the, the younger brother of one of their, their group went missing. And so they presumed he was dead. And then 20 years later, there was a crime committed and his DNA was on it. So they realized that he was alive and these friends that were with this little boy when he went missing try to get together and solve the crime. It's really good. Shetland, it takes place on the Shetland Islands. It's about a detective who solves lots of crimes and it's just really, really good. Evil Genius, it's about a woman who uh, orchestrated a bank robbery that kind of went public and the whole thing was was, took place in public because he had a bomb strapped to him. The man uh, that did the bank robbery had a bomb strapped to him and the police caught him and he was sitting there with the police surrounding him with the bomb strapped to him. So I, that's all I'll tell you about that, but it's really, really good going, not going into this, well, going into this woman's mind a little bit because she was very, very interesting. State of play. About a British official that his uh, girlfriend either is murdered or commits suicide and the newspaper that is covering the story, they all get together and try to solve the crime. So that's really, really good. It's the one that took place several, several years ago. I will do a link to it so that you can see exactly which one it is because I think they've done several of them, but this is the one that I really liked. Uh, DCI Banks. DCI Banks is, oh, and there was, if you ever watched DCI Banks, the, the latest one was such a shocker. It really was. Uh, something very dramatic happened. But he's a, another detective that uh, solves crimes and gets to the bottom of things, but he's very emotional. And so you, you, uh, you kind of experience all these things with him. The next one is Midsummer. I think Doug and I, I think this is the 19th, 20th season of it. Oh, just it goes back, way back. And we have enjoyed every season. We always look forward to it when they do them again. It's about a group, it's kind of like takes place in the Cotswolds and they film it there. And it's these little villages, the Midsummer Villages and a different murder takes place in them all the time. Well, usually several murders take place in them all the time. It's just so fun. You get to see all that beautiful scenery in that area of the UK and uh, I love it. It's, it's up there with our favorites. Um, another one is I, Tanya. It's about uh, Tanya Harding, but it's, it's sad but it's sort of comedic too. And uh, it tells about kind of what led to her, what happened with her and Nancy Kerrigan. Uh, there was a lot of controversy about it. Of course, Nancy Kerrigan was very upset about it, but we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. We don't know how truthful it was, but we enjoyed watching it a whole lot. The next one is called Station X, and it was so fascinating. It is about the code breakers during World War II of Bletchley Park. Um, I enjoyed it thoroughly. It breaks down how they were able to break the code during World War II to be able to hear what the Germans were planning, what they were saying, and uh, just, it was such a complex code that uh, they had a hard time doing it, but it goes behind the scenes of how they were able to. So, uh, very highly recommend that one. Uh, so, those are the things that I've really enjoyed recently. I'm going to go get back to my family. I think we're going to drive into Savannah. Doug's already called me and say, are you sick up there? Where are you? So, I'm going to uh, get off now. I won't answer comments for this because I'm still on vacation. When I get back, I will do another video and get back in the groove of answering comments and watching other people's videos and uh, just, just getting back to normal. But I wanted to put this out because I had planned on it for a while and kept forgetting to do it. So uh, I do apologize for not answering comments, but I do try to keep up with uh, direct messages on um, Instagram. So you can always try to reach me there if you need to, but I'll be back soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. I have, hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.